Just a load of people who've come together sort of building from the punk scene. Just putting on gigs, playing in bands, running fanzines, running record labels and doing it because they like the music, not because they want to make money. Covers loads of stuff that's sort of built from punk, even if it's like indie rock or hardcore, metal, ska, just emo, just anything. Sort of building from the same punk beginnings. I do gigs in Middlesbrough now because there's no venues in Gisborough because the council decided they didn't like young people doing anything constructive. But in Middlesbrough, I do stuff at a pub called the Ackland now. I just put bands on in the back room there. I well, normally put on more sort of indie rock and emo type bands because that's more the kind of stuff that I prefer. At a gig recently, I had an American band on called the Milwaukee's, who were one of my favourite bands, just a really good rock band. And in the main room of the Ackland, we had this gig. And in the back room of the Ackland, there was an underage rave which ended up with about 300 Middlesbrough Scallies starting a riot outside and smashing people's cars and stuff and the police came and everything. A band called Dugong played and there were so many people in and they were all like dancing to the band and the ceiling downstairs started collapsing and stuff. People know who I am from doing stuff like that. There'd never been anything like that in Gisborough before and it's just stuff like that that everybody knows about, just sort of like word of mouth. And it was a gig I'd done and stuff like that tonight. And a lot of the DIY promoters that do a lot of things, like Glen Sims from Open Season, you find that everybody all over the country involved in the DIY scene knows who Glen is. I have a normal job, I'm a couch fitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just put as much time as I can into the gigs and having a girlfriend and having a dog and having a house and also having a shop now, so it's, it's all a bit stressful, but keeps you busy. I just had a few problems with electrics, um, amps are blown, and, well, five amps are blown, and there's no electrician and it's just nothing that's going right. There's a possibility of putting the gig on in the arena and just shifting all this stuff over and just use the bar and the toilets in here. Fucking hell! Just to make sure people can come and see decent bands for cheap prices and not have the hassle that you get when you go to the big main venues and the big price drink-wise and, and a friendly atmosphere. The, in the past few years, there's been more and more. Um, People like Andrew who does the soundtrack. I think he's the closest thing he is to open season because he does things very much like we do. When I first sort of started going to the gigs and stuff, I hadn't ever known anything like that existed. So when I found out that there was people actually doing stuff because they liked the music, not because they liked the money. And also people like most AI collectives own put on bands that they would pay to see themselves. So usually for like two or three quid you get to see four or five really good bands, not just like whatever bands are gonna get loads of mates. In. Well, it sounds big-headed, but I know we've got a good name for ourselves, even out of town. And bands get in touch because they know that it's a cool place to play. Somehow, I don't know how, but <laughs> we always find it quite shocking when bands say that we have a great scene over here, but we think it's okay, we don't think it's brilliant. It's just something that you enjoy doing. Sometimes at the end of the night, you sit back and see two people at a gig and think, let's do more or whatever. It's just, it's fun. <laughs> Don't do it because you think it's cool or going to get your scene points, but do it because there's bands that you want to see. It's just anyone can be involved really. If you want to come along and help, open house, we love it. So. People who go to the gigs, they'll all just like, if you meet somebody once, they'll just speak to you as if they've known you all their life and stuff. It's like a really good atmosphere because everybody knows that the people who are there like similar things and are doing it for the same reasons.